uh, after Lincoln Upholstering was formed in that uh, my parents, they built a, a home on Creek Road on the corner, pretty much two down from Creek Road and Line 1. And it backs on to the Four Mile Creek. And it's a, it, was, it was a great home. Um, and uh, I remember uh, my really early years there just hanging out in the backyard and enjoying the, um, the there was the creek down there and I remember the monster uh, suckers that would run up the in the springtime and trying to catch them in that so um, earlier on I, I really enjoyed the wildlife and building tree houses and that um, a lot of my day like before I went to Virgil Public School. I would spend at Lincoln Upholstering there too, I, uh, sleeping underneath my mom's table, uh, desk, and that she used to do the uh, the books for Lincoln Upholstering back then. So I went to work with them all the time too, and uh, and uh, so. But um, moving on uh, through, when I was six years old, I uh, went to grade one. We didn't have kindergarten back at that time, and uh, be, being. Uh, German, uh, speaking mostly German at home, and uh, having a lot of Mennonite German um, friends in the area, right. other families, I was having a bit of a difficult time with the with the language, with the English language, because uh, we were so much. But once that all started, um, I don't know why, but uh, um, anyway, once that all, once I got to grade one in that, then we started speaking a lot of English at home. Now with my sisters, didn't seem to have. <laughs> Trouble, or I don't remember it anyway, but uh, yeah, so we, we um, um, uh, from moving into to Virgil Public School, uh, lots of kids right around that line one and Creek Road area. Uh, the Nichols Ponds was right, right down the hill from Virgil Public School, and that was before the big addition was built as well. It was just the smaller one, and uh, I remember all the teachers, and just it was just an incredible experience, a nice, nice experience. Mr. Ring was our principal, and it was a very good community school. Walking from our home to the the ponds, uh, skating in the winter time was a highlight of my my um, my my winters as well. Um, I know my mom or dad would tie the skates my skates on right at the house, and I'd walk up the street and then start skating on the ponds and. And then, or building tree forts in the back and in the woods, and that was lots of fun. Didn't have cable back then. We did. It was just black and white TV. Um, there was a couple of neat things that I really remember too, uh, because we could roam throughout Virgil with my friends when we were six, seven. I would, from school, I would go over to Lincoln Upholstering and uh, and uh, check in with my mom. But then I'd go with to my friends and come home for dusk. You know, it it really was, and even at that age. Uh, but but at that time you just felt comfortable and everybody watched out for you and they they'd ring your ear too if you did something wrong or being bad which at sometimes happened but um, a great thing we used to hang out at the corner of it was called Harry Gibson's store and he pumped gas and he was uh, on the corner of Creek Road and 55 that's where Silks is right now and, uh, there was one right on the corner there and um and we didn't have stoplights or really, maybe there were stop signs back then, but it was uh, um, a lot of fun. He had used to have malted milk chocolate bars right in the in the Coke fridges and uh, I don't know, for five, two cents or five cents, I can't re quite remember. It was, it was uh, a treat to do that. He scooped out ice cream as well and, and Mr. Gibson was a big man wonderful man with glasses he had one lost one finger somehow in some incident and we always asked him what happened and he would tell us a funny story all the time different stories so it was it was a lot of fun yeah and the porch there was a porch that sort of wrapped around two sides of it and it was a wood porch and stairs so we would sit there and watch a car go by every once in a while you know and that and uh, it was it was a fun spot there um and Penner's as well, not Penner's Lumber, um, but Penner's Restaurant, where it Lawrenceville is right now. There was Mr. and Mrs. Penner that had some candies, and they had gumballs and stuff for, you know, three for one cent. And so we would go in there and talk to them too. And he was kind of a funny, he was the cook with the old, the cook with the big belly and white t-shirt and a cigarette hanging, the Norman Rockwell type of scene. And he was a bit grumpy, but uh, Mrs. Penner was really nice. So, 
And that was really um, in the grade ones and two. I had a good friend, Dave, uh, Greg Dick, who with Niagara Motors, and, and even at that time we, we hung out, you know, um, playing baseball and, and stuff like that. But we could roam around the, the town pretty good.